and the shit ain't even none of this shit is real. None of this shit is real. You know I was right. It's real to me. <laughs> Damn. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> we talking shit today. Yes, we just being real objective, man. One of my favorite objective opinions in the podcast world, in the media game. Loon the Goon. Yes, Lord. Loon Welcome the to the God. trap. Yes, Lord. Lord. It's always good when you can have people come through it, man, and have them type of conversations. For sure. You know what I'm saying? The right way, with the right energy, with the For right sure. type of objections. Right. To let the con the conversation live. And right. we were just sitting in here going back and forth, hypothetically, about some what if. What if? Right. What if? It's important we live in, in that what if, too, man. Because a lot of the what ifs are starting to become realities. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like this was a what if, it's a reality now. Right. The next step is a what if. If we keep marching, it's going to be a reality. So right. we need to spend time in the what ifs. But that's what we were just talking about, though. It's like, like as media creators and content creators and shit, it's certain topics and trigger words that you can throw around for interaction. Mm. That's why you keep seeing the same topics recycled and reworded slightly different, mm. but it's pretty much all the same thing. Right. Reacts, beef. Right. You know. Trigger words. Yeah. How much or should a man or mm. would a woman or could you date a... Ooh. Why? Why is this a question? Right. <laughs> Like, just hypothetical, and then to have people on there triggered and screaming and hollering and fighting and all kind of crazy shit over some hypothetical shit. Right, and then the people who's doing the hypothetical, a lot of times they trying to tap into the algorithm. Right. So they ain't even true to what the conversation is, right? I'm being lucky in what I'm doing, and I'm tapping into the algorithm with true conversations, same way y'all doing. That's a... That's a different, that's a different thing. Cause these people are trying to f factory this thing, right? To make it where it hits the algorithm. And we're able to do it with just regular conversation. You know, that's a deep, 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 deep thing. And it's very valuable, right? We gotta start speaking on the value of us too in our raw form. Just us talking like this. Gotta be us to do this. Can't no other race do this like this. Right? Ain't gonna happen nowhere in the world. And mm. we gotta understand and stand on that in the meetings. I'm standing on it. Man, what made you come into the media world? Uh, really just watching. Really, I'm a fan of conversation. I'm a fan of information. Right. So I'm an information-based person. And so when the podcast stuff started, I instantly took a liking to so much information just it's almost like the encyclopedias live in podcasting now right fuck encyclopedias you can literally go find a podcast about shit you probably used to read in the encyclopedia like how do that's you do that's the fascination this? to me too the new information yeah man what's some of the podcasts that you, that you listen to check out that people wouldn't think i'm on i'm uh of course i watch joe rogan right because he got all the market share it's important I understand him from top to Plus bottom. Plus he the motherfucking highest earner. Yeah, and, and, and also they have great conversations. Yeah, about, about interesting topics. Exactly, and it's Plus important that I, I adopt that in a way that's like, hold on to that. Because they'll trick you into thinking you need to chase these names or chase these moments, like we just saying, chase these words. When I'm watching a dude got 500 over at it, ain't chase nothing. He might talk about COVID when it's hot, but these are conversation pieces, right? And um, for me, you know, I, I, I check Rogan out. I check out um, uh, Lex Freeman. I check out the Tim Cass, the dude that Yada just walked off on. Like, I'm watching those guys. Yeah. Bert Kreisner, Tom Segura. Yeah. You know, um, I've watched what, what they did. Uh, they built a network over there where they making a killing um watching y'all um and like i say bro those things I, I tap into and it's almost for a business side of things especially rogan 
He's my number one. I I I I moan him. I'm oh oh that move that move. This Bro, he move. had the dude on that bitch said he was went through the Congo looking for a dinosaur. Like how do you even think to come up with some shit like that? Now now <clears throat> what happens is just like y'all, and this is important for us to understand in content world. Once you get it up and going, once they understand like me, they understand ah he one of them he information nigga. So now. It's, it run itself. Right. Them dudes start reaching out to you. They know. He sit down with people that climb 16 mountains in six days, right? So they reaching out. Like, some of them stories are finding you. Right. You just got to make it clear to your people that this one what I'm on. I ain't just, I can't let you pin me right here. And when I talk to my audience, I tell them, like, you're going to see me sitting here, there, here, and there, and be clear that I'm going to be the same person in every room. You know what I'm saying? But it's important that I spread my wings. Right. Right? And um, they respect it, hopefully. If not, I still got to go with the move. You know what I mean? You got to. Who you listen to podcast that people wouldn't think? Um, bruh, it's this shit. Um, I think it's called Just Pearly Things. What they do to um, people in the UK. Mm. When they talk about relationship dynamics and shit over there, it'd be real interesting because they'd be so politely disagreeing. Yeah. I love that shit, so I fuck with that one. I fuck with the Joe Rogan shit. I watch. I watch Bird and Tom sometimes, unless, I, unless they start getting too weird. Yeah, you know that. They, you know, they get, yeah, yeah, they get to being too weird yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Um, I come across a lot of media and content across my timeline. The Callie and West show. Shit like that. Okay. Well, I, I check out everything actually. Right. right. Just to see, well, like especially anytime I see like some black people content, I want to see it. Even if I agree, I disagree with it, I still want it to be like have something to base the disagreeing off of. Right. Sometimes I just need to hear different yeah. different thoughts and ideas and shit like that. And you know, once you watch one, they show you all of them. Right. Like yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. 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 And I think that's if I, And I want everybody to have a podcast on the black people shit. Yeah. Because we need, like you said, we need to exchange information. Right. And that's what this shit is about. Because I watch them boys over there. They exchanging the fuck out of information. And I'm sitting there like, damn. And, and also, speaking of Bird and Tom, they have a thirst to understand our culture. And that's why it's important to see us over there or sometimes us have <clears throat> conversations because they have a... They don't understand a lot of things they may speak about, right? Even they're not supposed to, right? But they want to understand. They're not going to either way. You don't think so? Hell no. I ain't talking about the shit we come from. I'm talking about just un explaining now. You know, uh, they're not, they signed the Young Thug, and that's a joint venture in the rap world. They don't need to know all that. You don't think so? So nah. they speak on it and influence their people. No. Nah. And and we don't care that their confusion is there. No, it's gonna fuck the lick up. Mm. Once they, never once, gonna fuck the liquor. Yeah, up. once they figure out that we know some shit, they're gonna cut it off. No more joint ventures. Mm. That's how they're fucking making it. <laughs> <clears throat> I gotta respect it. Yeah. I gotta respect it. You agree with that? You gotta that? keep in mind, man. They, I, I, all, they are white men. They never good, They don't need to be understanding shit. Nah, what they, I'm saying is I believe it's valued uh, in the marketplace. I don't know. And I'm hustling it. So I believe it's value in the marketplace when you see um, people with a massive platform and a misunderstanding. There's a problem that needs to be fixed. And I'm a problem solver. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at that. And for me, I understand that they, they have a thirst to understand and they try to talk about it sometimes. And my thing is, share that audience and figure that out, business-wise. My emotions ain't tied into much of nothing. I've been hurt. I come from the darkness. I feel you. So I don't think about, I ain't emotionally tied to nothing but disrespect. Outside of that, my emotions ain't tied. Almost love almost don't get my emotions. Damn, you why not? Because I've already been mishandled. <clears throat> They've misplaced what they, what they should have done with me, right? When I was vulnerable. And so when I, I'm a cancer and I expose myself to certain things, it's uncomfortable. And it's at the detriment of the gold. And it's in your hands, right? So say I start loving you. And I love you and I open it all the way up and I love you, right? 
what happens is when if for whatever reason say i'm fumbling say i am treating you bad and you decide to go left or do something now i take my mind off the goal and try to straighten that out because i don't want to this is important love is important to me yeah and that's what's important i don't give access to it as much because it's that important to me that's not that's cheating yourself maybe that's why they say black men don't know how to love you cheating yourself that's the that's the risk of being in love of, or loving see why the, the, risk of, what's the risk what's when risk? you take a risk with everything else that you do in life why not take a risk on the what best do you part? let me ask you this what do you gain with love what do you gain fulfillment a uh, human experience it's, it's, that's a good fucking that's yeah, a good fucking word because that's all that everybody is looking for anyway you don't do this you know, like you do like when motherfuckers say if you love something you'll do it for free mm, that's the, the only shit that, that apply to that if you love something you'll do it for free and i don't want to say i don't love because i do love but right. it's important that i'm I, I me i know that i have a paranoia with vulnerability and so Man. my emotions are in my back. But think my about all the other chances that you take in life. You get in your car and you take a chance. You trust some complete stranger to drive Not based on, the on other emotion, side. based on a right. hundred years of cars. They done done this a hundred years. Yeah, they done did. They done been in love for thousands. And they keep fucking it up. Nah, it's for the same reason. The same reason. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm right about this, but I know that it's good conversation. Anything that you do, you take a risk. That's fact. So I mean, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. It's just got to be worth it. When it comes to love, you have to find your tribe. And I think that too time, too many times that we fail in love is because we we allow ourselves to fall in love with people that don't have our. Uh, 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 best interest or there's the same interest mm. we we try to uh convince people to love us you know what i'm saying when it's somebody that naturally will fuck with you if you That's go fuck with people it's not the same yes it is no it's not well, you, t well, well, you said somebody that'll that naturally fuck with you that ain't the same as love no no i'm talking about naturally just take you in and you don't have to compatibility compatibility you you know what you're compatible with right don't be don't be trying to turn yourself on square to some pig new shit. in a round hole yeah right. don't be so this amp to this going different places please accept me please i i want to be down with your clique you it don't, ain't never gonna work like no, that. No, it's not. It's like trying to join a gang. Right. It's like trying to join a gang and whatnot. And this is different types of rules when you join gangs and stuff. You know, it's. It, I, I, I don't really want to go too deep in it, but what I will say is on when it comes to my understanding of those organizations and everything that it's, it's, it's an organization. It's not, it's not based on feelings and yeah. emotions and Man, compatibility that shit always in the same way you can, and what's you, that way you can look at it whatever like think about it when motherfuckers be together for years and years and they break up it ain't necessarily got to be because somebody was unfaithful it ain't got to be because of financial she sometimes motherfuckers just want freedom yes lord it's just about fucking freedom. You hear women every time you go to the club. Oh, I was married for twenty years. I'm wild. I don't, don't never want to be I'm with. I'm forty nine. I just want to live my life. Yeah. My kids is grown. My bills is paid. I got a big old pretty house, and yeah. I live in there by myself. And if I want to spend spend a little time with somebody, I can do that. But as far as needs, I'm good on all that. People want to be free. You shouldn't pander that to someone that. No. Wants to, to to come up off of you. No, man, it's you not should, it. you it's should. not that. It's just that whatever you feel like you have to settle for or pull back well, to be with somebody else. You should like settle. if you deal if you a man who highly successful and you make a lot of money uh -huh. and you fall in love with a woman because she's beautiful and you know she's not as financially literate as you. That's. It might take five years, fifteen years, or twenty years of her fucking your money up before you say. No more. Yeah. I can't take this. I love you. I gave you everything I can give you. I raised my kids. We sent them to school. Everybody grown. 
Now all I want to do is get my money back right like I had it before I started fucking with you. Now look at the but price. you bought your love. You just no, but you bought the, your love. No, I'm just you saying paid that's the that. you bought you bought that. You wanted what people want to talk about compromise. You made the compromise to be with somebody who you knew had a weakness. But love ain't mm. compromising. Love yes, it is. is. No, it's damn now that's deep because mm-hmm. people will argue that it is. It, no, it, it is. It has to. It's one hundred percent. Was I don't know. That's a good conversation. That's we gotta all dive that shit in. is. No, it's it's not compromising. It's a partnership. It's taking me as I am. No, it's not. Yeah, taking you as you are is me compromising. No, it's not. So, Jay, if you meet a woman tonight. Okay. That you want to take and make her your wife. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm saying if you meet a woman tonight, where the fuck you gonna live at? Your house or her house? We gonna live in my house. Somebody got to compromise on that decision, mm-hmm. right? And taking me as I am is ignoring everything I want. Right. You might have it dead set in your mind that you and your wife gonna be the owners of nine vehicles. Hey, the I lady need, you fall in it, love it, with might say, "Don't nobody need that many fucking cars." Hey, Somebody got to compromise. That's all this shit is. Who? How many times can we agree with each other? You t- you disagree enough times. Guess what? The mm, shit don't fucking work no more. Conversation. The shit don't work no more. And you don't believe certain amount of times of you having to compromise and say, "Damn, I ain't getting my way again." Damn, we do everything you want to do. I know if it come down to me and you making a decision, it's going to be what the fuck okay, you say. My new question is, how much compromise is love, though? Because at some point, too much compromise is... What are our boundaries? Yeah. What are, what are our boundaries? Means you don't have boundaries. Too much compromise means you don't have boundaries. No, we got to have boundaries because right. boundaries equal respect. Res- Ooh, there we go. Even if we cook it now, you got to compromise. We- Cause you both gotta agree what the fucking boundaries nah, are. Nah, you don't got to agree on my boundary. Okay. Right? Cause Just, you, see, you, yeah, see, yeah. Shit get tricky. Yeah, you don't how got much, to, if you don't how agree. How much is too much for you and how much is not enough for me? Yes, Lord. And that's a weird spot. Now how much of that can I focus on and I'm looking at 500 over here. I'm trying to run this bag up and all this confusion about you understand what I'm? Look at all that, man. Compromising. What is that? And how much compromise? Yes. Well, what about boundaries? Right. Hold on. Now respect got to come in somewhere. Oh, like it's. Okay, but we, well, let's well, let's also we got to tell the truth too. Don't just say no shit that I want to hear. Tell me what it is. What do what what is expected of me? And I'm gonna tell you what's expected. I don't of you like that kind of conversation with no shit. motherfucker. Because if a woman showed up and told you what you expected right away. It's gonna be a red flag, and you gonna get the fuck. You don't out. tell okay. me, and, but it, that, that's good. Don't waste my time. Her being direct. See, you're not gonna see it as her being direct. She told you exactly what she wants. I take and it as most things. women not to know what to expect, right? Because I know most men don't know what to provide. No, no, most women listen, think that they can t- they can change your mind. That's true, but I think that most women don't know what to expect because most men don't know what to provide. So I, I take it as when I meet a woman, I'm going to do what I do. I'm, I, whatever I do need to translate into what it, what, what it look like for a man to be in your life, in your opinion. If it don't, then I'm going to take it like you, you dropping the ball. But your example before me is going to always lead to your understanding of a guy, right? So how do I know whether or not you are prepared for this type of situation I'm going to put you in? And, for me, I just don't think love is something you can play with like that. I don't. I don't have the time, man. I don't have the time for. So you. So you saying that love should be transactional? No. Why, on where some you get level. That from? On some level. On where did you get? That? I didn't oh, say oh, that. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Where the fuck did you get that? He agreed with me, dog. So you don't. Don't you? Don't you? I don't agree don't with you. you fucking because they're gonna take that on the internet. So That's I don't agree saying. with you. But on some. I used the wrong word. Yeah. Love should be an exchange. An exchange, a, a, a barter. That could, you could put a thousand words in that blank spot right there. What do you want and what am I willing to give you? Man. And what do you have to offer? See and, how many different angles you could take from that? Yeah, I do see what, it, I'm trying to see what's good for me. And you seeing what's Love, good for you. And if we best, can meet in the middle. The best way to fucking put that shit is just like. Love is just like being with two, it's like two people trying to rob the fucking world of everything they want 
and they just got to figure out the best way to get that shit together. That's it. That's what it's all about. And if when you go back and you split the fucking rewards, don't know one person get shit get more than don't nobody else. You know what I mean? It should be a fucking split. It's like shit. You don't get more more. You don't get more than me because you drove from the robber. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? Right now, what about but but you you believe love has no compromise? I believe now that I'm thinking about it that you have to compromise because male and female are two totally different species. So we're right. gonna naturally want different things. Right. And so there's gonna naturally be some sort of compromise. That means you would never everything. fuck with nobody who wasn't even just remotely just a little Unless bit not you your type. with the same sex. The same sex don't got to compromise. That's no, no, no. Yeah, no. we like the same no. thing. No, we don't. No, we don't. The same sex? No, we don't. Okay, help me understand what you're saying. I don't I'm like trying. none of the shit you like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't like none of the shit you like. So, I'm so, pretty sure. Okay, so if you have a woman, you saying that there's no... You said love is not compromised. Yes. So how do you explain her being a totally different speech? Like, she's a woman. She comes in, her understanding is different. What she want to provide is compatible but the understanding for her to translate it gonna have to have some compromise there. Let's say if you this was 85percentersmeet.com. Right. Oh, you're gonna have all these different boxes that you check off of things that go inside your personality and things that you are willing to accept and things that are deal breakers. Yes. Yeah, and so you got that to find- mean, But the way you put it is, that means if, if you had a checklist of 100 things, and somebody checked off 99. Of you them. ain't messing with them. You ain't that fucking with them. That one compromise, you said no, sir. Oh, th now that's not what I'm saying. Okay. That, that's not what I'm right, saying. So you, we want to just clarify that. Okay, this is what I do. That's really what you're saying. This is what I do. If, if, it's, if, if I can get 90% of my boxes checked and whatnot, I fuck with you. That that makes sense. All right. So what? What I'm just saying though, you said ninety percent, right? Ninety percent. But you see those ten that went unchecked. That went ten that went unchecked. That's the breaking point. That's the breaking point. Now, but if, if we over fifty, we doing a great job. But I'm job. just saying, sake for it's for like you said, the sake of argument. Yeah. You in love? She ain't checked, but. Just enough. She okay. checked fifty-one out of a hundred. Well, maybe. And she's... you say, you know what? I love her so much. The I'm give a fuck about them that. other. Yeah. I love her so much. Maybe I'm gonna I don't keep her care close as a other compatible friend. But guess what? How long you think? You women think them four other forty-nine gonna go? Oh, they they'll hold on as long as you as as long as you make it comfortable for them to yeah. hold on. What does Unless that mean? they're talking what to somebody else. To, what does? Yeah, because I mean, I I would take it that anybody I'm dealing with has. Should have some kind of options. Right. I don't. I mean, you shouldn't be sitting there on the wing unless, again, it's comfortable, right? right? Well, well, this right. is the best you got right here. I'm, I'm keeping it honest with you, and then I'm checking off ninety percent of your boxes. Nope, that's the thing. See, women gonna act like you ain't never checked off none of their boxes. She was doing you a favor. Man, just by I'm not gonna let you look do at, that to the people. Look how many, Look how much credit you gave her. You gave her ninety. Yeah. She was ninety percent perfect for you. Soon as she don't fuck with you no more, she gonna act like you shouldn't have never even been able to fill out her fucking boxes. That's fact. <laughs> now, now, I've had that before. <laughs> I, I've had that before, and then me and her we was able to get to an agreement that, oh, you was just upset with me at the time, and I'm yeah, sorry I made you, you feel yeah, that look way. Look at the compromise you had to make. Mm -hmm. You had Why to don't goddamn... you want to compromise? Something happened to you. Oh, here's a bunch of shit happened to me. Yeah. All we need to clarify that though. because people may adopt that behavior it, not understanding that that's a result of something. Stop trying to be the victim all the time. You know what the fuck Don't you, you did. That. Don't you dare you did. put me in the victim. You, just, you did, Jack. That's you know not, you wasn't shit that part of your life. Mm. Yes, I wasn't. And wasted man, I them lady times. I was everything. Mm. Bro, you wasted that lady time. Well, those ladies time like that. No, I, w I was everything to them. They, they were lying to me. Right. They, they was lying to me, telling me this is what they wanted. But it wasn't enough, and it wasn't happening fast enough. Well, that says a lot about you. What is it? What would that say about me, Carlos? That you fucking overpromised and underdelivered. Mm. Hey, and I said, no, I said, give me some more time. This shit finna happen. No, and it didn't. Because women ain't gonna leave you that day. She had been asking you to pick them fucking drawers up and shit. And you just kept doing that shit. <laughs> 
just kept doing it. And it I got like, one eye, for God's sake. You oh, gotta let some you shit fully fly. Yeah, yeah. You that ain't no victim shit. Yeah. That's not victim shit. When have you ever used your one eye as an excuse out of anything? I, I don't do it too often. Right. You just gonna act like you ain't see the shit you was doing. Okay, maybe I might have left my drawers. Accountability. More than five or six times. Yeah, accountability. Maybe I disrespected her by, you know, let something go on a little bit too long. You know, yeah. Crossed her boundaries. Yeah. And I can admit to that. Maturity. But it's, it's, it's petty. Yeah. And it's something that we can get past. No, and it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. It depends on whatever the perspective you're looking from. I don't leave the toilet seat up. Now, one thing about social media and the internet era, the technology, it made everybody think they had a whole lot more options than they actually do. It brought the world closer. Right. Everybody think that some it's somebody better out there just waiting, to, just waiting on you to just post that you're single. Don't yeah. nobody give a fuck. That's deep. Nobody never gave a fuck Nobody you never single. give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Nobody never gave a fuck you were single. You ain't no. do nothing but hurt the little person that was with you. Right. That one individual that thank you all together. That's the only right. individual that's affected. Oh, her little auntie them follow you. You forgot all about that. You ain't yeah. doing nothing but showing your ass. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I wanted to ask y'all this. How long y'all been doing comedy? Shit. I remember... Back when I started doing comedy, you can get a Coke for a nickel. <laughs> nah, what is it? What's the shit? It's about to be 18 years almost. And if you don't get it like that, if it ain't them type years, numbers. Yeah, two, see, we're going in. Well, I'm going, yeah, it's 17 years. Ago. It take the, it take a long road for, for, for this shit. How long you been doing? Since I was 17. And I'm 40 now, 23 years. See what I'm talking about? Take a long day craftsmanship, but boy, some of the best people at it when you get that up under your belt. I was When I was riding, I was listening to that episode where dude was speaking about the kings of comedy being on tour and how that affected comedy clubs. And I said, damn, that was deep. Mm -hmm. Like people will hold their tip. I'm not going to see Buddy now. Cause, right. and. Just think about that, your innovation. Cause they would be innovative with that. They felt like, man, this gonna kill it. Us three together, that's gonna smoke it. Or us four, that's gonna smoke it. But it was affecting comedy club. That's That was a deep conversation. Do y'all remember that? You remember I that? went to go see it when I was 17. That's what uh, turned me all the way on, man. I went to go see it at Phillips Arena. Mm. And it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, them doing their thing in front of 20,000 folks and whatnot. And, um, you know, I had to sneak in again to go check it out the next night, man. And it, it, just, it fucked my head up. Yes, Lord. You know, to see somebody like Steve Harvey going from Steve Hightower to turn into this yeah. guy that, that says, you know what I'm saying, choice words. And, and to see B Bernie Mac in his prime yeah. like he, and they he just breaking out them dudes was and they, they taught me inflection them dudes like bernie and especially harvey oh man like they would get into certain things and they inflection just with harvey would go into another voice bernie would go into like this shit was just that was dope was you, dl did it too yeah DL, all of them yeah. that's what i'm saying just that it's like again you develop that mm. where you understand that I have to separate these characters in real time, like on stage. Man, I was talking to this girl, look at her. She looked like the type of girl that'll say, and you go into another voice and say it, whatever you was. See, that was the professionalism. Man. That was the years of working the clubs and putting on the grind and just, you know, like being present in the moment. Like right. you said, always having something ready. Right. I really like watching Kings of Comedy. I don't feel like they wasted no time just getting to that That's shit. That's what it was, yeah. And then feel like everybody got to get off a bulk of good, funny shit. Yeah. Of different perspectives. Bitch, What yeah. did nobody, you know what I mean? Different bits where ain't nobody talking about the same shit. And it's just like, it gave everybody their own shine. How That's long what, did they do? What was it, 30 minutes since? About the 20. 20, good, just boom, bam, bam, boom, boom, yeah. come out, swing. 
Yeah, they was coming out swinging. Fucking them up. Bernie Mac come out just bam Bernie instantly. Bernie Mac did 30. About yeah, 30. He closed. Because he was the closer. Damn. That's deep. Yeah, he, he, yeah. And there's definitely something to see, man, for a little a, a kid and shit live with all that energy around. Like, man, what the fuck? This is yeah. amazing. I remember one time when I was in fucking maybe like was it tenth grade? I think probably tenth grade. I went to a comedy show. It was like I know for sure Ricky Smiley was the headliner. He used to kill it too. You went in the gym grade? Yeah, man. And I was, it was at Ole Miss, and I know I wasn't like, you had to be like an Ole Miss student. But you know, you from Oxford, we figured that shit out a long time ago. I remember I took my girlfriend to see Ricky Smiley one night, and then like some kind of way, we was late or some shit. And it was on like a campus building, and she like, he came around the corner, and she was like, there go little Daryl. And I was like, He probably hated that shit. <laughs> I, I've heard. Yeah. You know, he was, but yeah, because you sometimes you get caught into that viral, whatever take you, they know you from that. But do But that's them. black people nature, though. Yeah. We're going to call you who the fuck we ghost. see you on TV. Like, dude that played in power. Now Hardaway. he goes Wherever forever. he show up at, it's ghost. Now it's ghost. Look at ghost, man, playing a such and such. Mike yeah. Epps going to always be day day. Period. Who else got that tag on them? Shit. You be around Ice Cube longer than five minutes, you gonna call him Craig? He got that Craig on him. Hell yeah, it's a lot of black people like yeah, that. Yeah, I just can't thank them, but it's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. But when y'all, when, when, when you look at, how many people <coughs> Harvin them had out there? Oh, you talking about like, 20, uh, shit. Leon gonna always motherfucking be David Ruffin. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, uh, JT Matthew. It's a lot of. Or oh, Lil Richard. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of. But see, people, the good ones like Jamie don't nothing stick to him. Because he I'm named himself here. Jamie on the I'm show. I'm over here. I'm over here. But shit, even if he go do those movies, those legendary roles still don't stick to his, like, that's still. But that's what you just said. That just Nigga, if you saw Tyrese, you ain't used to call him. He branded Jamie to begin with. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna say, Who? nigga, Tyrese. I ran into Tyrese. You're gonna be like, nigga, I'm out here with Baby Boy. <laughs> with Jody. Jody. We got a lot of them. Steve Urkel. Steve Urkel. Ooh, he can't shake oh, it for shit. Yeah. No matter what he do. Oh, 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 my dog, Eddie Winslow. He might be the worst Eddie one, Winslow. Steve Urkel. May be number one, numero uno. He Can't branded shake the hell the out brand. of that. He mm -hmm. branded the hell yeah. out of that. Yeah. That brand stuck on him, boy. Oh, dog. He shook it. I feel like he shook yeah, he, it. Yeah, but give me, well, something better this, give me something better than uh, Steve oh, Urkel. Give me something oh, better. Oh, my than nigga, uh, Tyron Turner, which was Kane. It was hard for him to shake Kane. Give off. me something better than Steve Urkel. It ain't them. The yeah, Debo. De there you go. Debo. Ooh. Debo better than Steve Urkel. Smokey. Debo or Steve Urkel. Smoke. Now nah, Chris. Now nah, Chris did too much. Chris. Chris grew up called, out of that smoke. Y'all called him Smokey all through Russia. Yeah. He showed and up. And they was on four. Showing up. But now I think the battle is. Damn, I think that's the battle. Steve Urkel and Debo. But we should all be so lucky to get a memorable role like that. Right. Hey, I man, you listen. Felicia. Carlton. 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 Felicia. Yeah. That's the four. That's the Avengers. Mm. Felicia, Carlton, Steve Urkel, mm. and uh, who was that? Seeley. Debo. Who? Big From Worm. Purple. Big Worm. That's another hard one. But C. Lee, Whoopi Goldberg will always be C. Lee. Bro, man, you definitely right about this, bro, man. Bro, man. Steve Urkel still sticking out to me, though. I ain't, mm -hmm. boy, all these is hitting hard, but that motherfucker, Urkel, it don't matter what he do. Nah, he the biggest one. Yeah. He, he the biggest be. one. He gotta yeah. be. So, you said they was doing 20,000, uh, 20,000 Steve Harvey now? Yep. How many be at Wilder now? How many do that be? Yeah, 20. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's a, a lot, a game. Hell yeah. They, I know we done had at least one show with about that. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know now, but when I was It's on a them, different vibration though, like even that crowd reaction and shit. That shit is like, you gotta say something and then give it time. Yeah, it do. 
it ain't they, no so it's a different time from yeah, the live yeah. show to the live sh- yeah from the like live recording to the live show it's a whole different show live See? The pacing is different, the timing is different. And that's me on the outside knowing, <clears throat> just just understanding, just technique with even communication. I'm knowing, boy, that's a lot of people to entertain. Hell yeah. yeah. You can feel it though, like even backstage. Like it just, you can always tell when this show is about to be crazy. You can just feel the energy just all around the arena. Yeah. Should be hard. Right. That's what's up. Tell them about the show, man. Oh, shit, my bad. I don't even know where we're going. Hey, April 30th, we will be in Denver, Colorado. Oh! Theater. Please. Right. Three-headed monster tour. Hey, you yeah. nod. Did I say it right? Yeah. You in Denver? Yeah. Hey, what's up with y'all behind us on this green screen? They got to get to me. I ain't smoking none yet. What y'all going to put behind us on the green screen? That's Three-headed monster? Three-headed monster. Put your bitch behind me. <laughs> Put your bitch behind me. Three head monks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Denver, April 30th. We got a big storm coming from the left, and we're going to bring it down. It's called a three headed monster tour, and they're going to come in and they're going to sweep the whole city. Right. Right. The left, that's the whip. Put your bitch behind me. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They don't go theater. Look, I get that. We back. Yep. You bitch. Yeah. I really got a three head monster. Ooh. You gotta go to the hospital. I, I, I did. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P, and I have a very special announcement. Well, I already announced it, but I'm gonna let y'all know again. We are going on tour. It's starting in June, y'all. Look, we announcing it extra early so y'all got time to get your tickets. No excuses. We got LA, Philly, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston. Now, Listen to me, because I know how y'all get. We are still adding dates. I repeat, we are still adding dates. But if you see your city right now, go ahead and get your tickets. If you don't see your city, don't worry. We still coming, okay? So make sure y'all go to www.poorminds.com and get y'all VIP meet and greets. We all sorry, Pooh. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> Number one show amongst people who owe you money and when you ask them about it, say they're gonna call you back, but they never do. So you know what you wanna say to LeBron when uh, he actually does reply? You been thinking of that, huh? Yeah. Nah, I don't. I just, I'm interested in just understanding how it even, how, how am I even getting on Kevin Durant and all these people, LeBron and any of they radars. I don't even understand. They'd that. rather watch Lil Baby. Yeah, Baby got that reach. Hell yeah. He got that reach. Baby, that's my guy. Shout out to Baby. That's my brother. Shout out to him, a real one. Yeah, for sure. That's my guy. Full pockets full. All the way out Full there, pockets baby. full. Back outside by Baby. Yeah, you been out. You been care. You got some, some classics on the early side already, jumping out the gym. Man, grateful. Thankful. Mm-hmm. Keep doing your motherfucking thing, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Where you want to take it to? 500 million. Dollars or views? Fuck views. Oh, okay. <laughs> Respectfully to my fans and supporters, but no, nah, 500, they get that, that. You know, when Rogan deal break down, that's 500 million. Right. That's three years old. So me going in the future asking for that should be respectful to the market. Right. And I plan on putting the work in. And I understand how and where to put the work in. That's what's important. You got to know where to leak at in the house. Mm. You understand? I know exactly where to go to patch it up. I know what people to speak with. What material to use, all that. Right? And so I feel comfortable about it. And I, and I got a few people who want to invest. Uh, I've been carrying it myself. It's been a hard fight. Right? You right. know what it's like to own a company. Right? Yeah, I know. I know a little something about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's a fight, you know. But I love it. I enjoy it, bro. You know, this is life for me now. When when you um you feel like what was your breakout? I'll be right back. My breakout in regards to in regards to like, damn, they really like me. They really, really like me. As much as I would want to think, it came like. Or as much as I would want to think it's coming like one thing, it's a collective of things. Mm. It's like I, I see it 
forming, almost like a, you know, like a child, you know, growing up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like just, it, it show up as an adult. It's like, it's like I'm seeing it grow where it's like, damn, it started right here with kind of C-list celebrity, D-list celebrity, and it started to creep up. Mm. You know, damn, a CEO of a company, damn, that company reached out, damn. And it's just like forming into it, and I'm just grateful, bro. You know, I'm just thankful to be. I was telling Ryan that like, people tell me just, man, how you do it? And the companies are trying to, they put me in a position where they're trying to figure out what I'm doing. They almost like they're trying to think it's some kind of formula or some kind of, I'm doing something. I'm just talking, you know? So I ain't doing nothing but being me and people like it. So I appreciate the people for supporting it. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go now, somebody know me and I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like I still ain't wrapped my mind around that. Even when you say my name, Brush, reach out to me. Kevin Durant in my DM, just Meek Mill read like it just it just every day somebody is hitting me. And it's just like, damn, these niggas know me. This shit resonating with the, with, with people. And it's giving people that look like me. Say, like, damn, maybe we can do, you know, do that right there. Cause just like y'all inspiring comics. I'm inspiring dudes that come out of that the jungle to say, boy, if you if you had to survive in that for real, and you can formulate an opinion and understand content and the algorithm and a couple of these things, you might can put yourself in a position. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it was something that I just noticed where it's like, and I'm still growing into understanding it, right? I don't get negative comments. I bet I will now, though, for saying <laughs> some stupid shit like that, but, <laughs> right. You just want to know what it feel like. Go on, get it out your system. It's just like, bro, people really enjoy it, and I just, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm excited about the market. I understand it. Like, I feel lucky. I feel like, oh, they done, I understand it. This ain't one of them play-play things. Mm. Dude understand it. He know what's going on, what to tap in that, how to tap into it, what the business, what the value is. This is important, mm. what it's worth and what it costs. Mm. Some people just focus on what it's worth. Mm. You got to know what things cost too, right? So, cost and value. Yeah. What, what you mean, you break that cost down for me. Right, so the cost of doing business, the cost of sacrificing whatever it is, right? Mm. So even from a business perspective, we can start there. Say you get a million dollar check. It costs to run the business, the building costs, the lights cost, the travel costs, the hotels cost, mm. right? So that number look different in regards to on camera talent, right? Versus running the business. Mm. And so there's a cost associated with it. But some people say, man, the business, they got a million dollars because they don't know what it costs to run the business. They think that that million dollars should funnel all the way down. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? So, and also understanding what it costs when you sacrifice to even get where we going or trying to go or where we at. We sacrifice something to get here. This didn't, this is not by luck, especially when you say 18 years or 22. Nah, this is by design. Right, so we need our 500 million too. Yes, Lord. That's all he's saying. When, when did you figure out your worth? Was it in comparison to what Joe Rogan's doing? Is this how you measure? Like, oh, it's this, the they're giving away some money well, like the that. Mar the market tells me the worth. And, and for me, I don't know my worth yet. I know the goal. Your worth and the goal are two different things. My worth, I'm trying to distinguish, right? Because I'm having seven-figure meetings with companies. And I'm trying to understand, is this a low ball? Is this a fat number? What is it worth, my reach? for baby to come to me on this rollout. What does that, what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? It's important I don't skip past these things. Me and Pete QC, shout out. Love him forever. We talk about those kind of, I try to talk to him about that. Like, what is it worth this reach? Right, for me to be able to, I just did B Marshall and Fred Taylor, right? This is the I Am Athlete beef. They won't talk to the same person. If you talk to one of them, you probably ain't gonna talk to the other one. They don't do that. It's a, it's a problem now. I just did both of them. So what is that worth, right? What is, what is, 
What is me being able to reach out to Los and come to 85? What is that worth? Because these companies can't really do this. They're not tricking me. What is this worth? And so I really still don't know the worth. I know the value of the market because of what Rogan warranted, because of what Call Her Daddy's doing, because of what my brother Wallow and Gilly is doing, mm -hmm. right? And so you see the market warranting certain numbers, and that's my, again, I'm information-based, not emotional. I ain't saying 500, and some people probably think that's emotional. He did think he all uh, that. Now it's information based. Somebody got mm. 500 three years ago mm. when they deal played out. Mm. I understand the market. Mm. All right. It might be valuable as fuck. You might be worth 750. A billion. You know what I'm saying? How do we know? You know what I'm saying? They say Kanye West ain't a billionaire no more. I disagree. I think Kanye West's value is still his value. Shit, once you learn how to his do it. His contracts and agreements are no longer in place. You know what I'm saying? But what's your value? What's your value? Do you know? No. I'm I'm trying to figure it out right now. Right? 89.50. Mmm. <laughs> I would say you got a pretty good understanding of your value. You you know you you too. You understand what what you know. If I go on tour, I warrant this. An appearance warrants this. The market says this, you know? Mm-hmm. I know my value very fucking well. That's good to hear, though. They People need to hear that. I generate money. I make money. It go further than just, oh, I'm coming to your city to sell out a show. Mm. Think about it. Motherfucker got to get a haircut. I get an outfit. Got to go get some eat. Got to go get some weed. Then they're going to go to the club after the show. They're going to smoke some hookah. They're going to eat again. Then they're going to stop on the way home. Pay for parking. Pay for parking. Nigga, I've been making money all week before I got there. The ladies done went and got their hair done. Nigga got hair cut. They done washed the car. They hope you don't understand. This is Right, important. this is value. They yeah. came to the shit. They bought the tickets. They bought food. They bought drinks. They bought some more drinks. They kept buying drinks all motherfucking night. They didn't eat. They done spent two hundred more dollars when they got there. Two, three hundred more per, per cup. And I know there's twenty, thirty. You know what I mean? You add this shit up all around here. Can, is still, there a way to tap these in there? These concession prices. Is there a way these for these twenty dollar hot dogs? Your folk coming yeah, to buy from yeah. these motherfuckers? Ain't got a choice. Right. Got you hung up in here, lying long. If you move too far, Lick you might lose your seat. And yeah, shit like nah. that. You got to know how much money. It's not about how much they can pay you. How much money can you generate? That's how you base your your pay scale. All right. May 20th. Where we going? Louisville, Kentucky. Man, to the who? The KFC Yum Center. We ain't got no KFC yet. But it's going to be at the Yum Center. Is it, is it Louisville it? or Louisville? It's L Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, definitely Louisville. Louisville. Yeah, Louisville. No cap. Louisville. It's Louisville. Louisville. They nine in the back. I need, I need KFC Louisville. to bring us some chicken, bro. Is that close to the uh, Kentucky Derby? It's in Kentucky. I mean, but is it close to the day that we're going to be there? Hey, man, fuck all that. Bring me some bluegrass. For real. Is Bubba Johnson gonna be there? Bubba Johnson? Yeah. That nigga, Bubba Johnson ride horses? He the NASCAR. Can, can tell you I thought that was a car. No, nigga, that's <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, come to the show. Come to the show a little bit. That's what I'm saying. the horn? Ignore what you said. Yeah. Ah! You can come. You know what I mean? That's the NASCAR girl? Yeah! I thought it could take it there with the car. No, that's... Ah! <laughs> that's the Daytona 500, nigga. Nigga, Cutting nigga. Derby. Ain't nobody told me. That's why I won't take you no fucking well. Hey, man, get, get your tickets. May 20th, KFC Yum Center. Shit, take me to the horses then, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you got that, yum, yeah, you got that. Well, I always thought a kid take a derby was a horse, I mean, with a car. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. I hope you're having a good day. Try some of these candles from my favorite candle brand, Good Day Scents Candle Company. They are black owned and have lots of different scents to choose from. Use my code L O U S, that's Los, and get 25% off your entire order or offer. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we got scents like vanilla, pineapple sage, which is my favorite, Egyptian amber, all types of freaky shit like black love. You gotta go on there and check them out. So when you see these candles, just know that 
I'm having a good day. You know, these candles have been approved by everybody that we ever presented them to, from Snoop and even Beyonce posted these on the website. This one right here, I think. So go hit the website and grab you some of these candles. Do you, do, do you, you say you don't know? Yeah, I think, I think access to value depends on the market, right? When you understand, you know, what, what you can want. Right. So that's why I be always, always laugh at people who say, who try to tell you what success is. It's motherfuckers who coming through your city two, three times a year who ain't your favorite at nothing. <laughs> but they got a market of people who will come out and buy everything that they selling, from the $20 hot dog to the $30 parking spot to the $50 t-shirt. To, they fuck with what they got going on. Okay, can't nobody tell you, hey man, you keep doing that same little thousand seater ass arena every year. You ain't never gonna move to the Fox. Yeah, we doing great business over here. Man. We get right. You want me to do one show at the Fox, or you want me to do three yeah, at this little? Oh, you yeah. want me to do three at Center Stage? Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. And then again, again, that, those numbers. I'm looking at the information, not how you feel about seeing ten thousand people at once. Nigga, I'm exactly. looking at five Why shows. Why would you want ten thousand motherfuckers to come see you and want ten thousand motherfuckers buy your shit? Would you rather have a thousand people come to that shit that buying and up, support you, yeah. or ten thousand motherfuckers who just gonna Trying come to get and, out the house? Right. Yeah. Do you, um, with y'all selling tickets, you know Ticketmaster is not just Ticketmaster, but the service and price on ticket sales is a weird thing. People are bringing attention to like, say you want to reach your fans or I want to reach one of us, want to reach our fans for $25. And we put a ticket out for $25. By the time they get through, it's $42 because there's some kind of weird processing servicing fee that the creator doesn't get insurance insurance on what the venue on each ticket yeah that amount of money 10 if 12. something happened to ever if something happened at the venue and it hurt a bunch of people do then you believe insurance is a scam because some people say of that. course it is that's why it, that's why it's it's legal all the legal it's all one the of scam. the best records ever yes they want you to pay money in case something happens. They know something's going to happen. Oh, man, that's weird. That's servicing fee. That could be money in your pocket. No, you the couldn't. one selling the ticket. You got to keep in mind, this shit, once some shit go to the internet, it ain't, it don't apply to real life no more. You don't know, like, it's going to say that you buying the ticket because it's digital, right? It's a footprint. But you're not really buying no ticket to this venue not buying that space. There's no processing happening. Exactly. So they're charging a process. No, the fee. process is actually you buying this shit online. Yeah, and that happens. Back in the day, there was some sort of real filing of some, you know what I mean? There was mm. some sort of system. Now there's literally the internet that, because I process payments for my store, for my right. merch. This but is no, what I'm saying. Even you have to pay that. That's a, but it's a, it's a fake thing is what I'm saying. Yes. There's no real processing of anything. What I'm telling you is the process is, is you actually using this shit online. They got you, man. That's the process. The transaction fee. They're charging what you. What does that mean? That means that they're charging you to spend money on the internet. From so for them to take you would it from, be no you would not be here for no other reason if Carlos Miller wasn't selling a ticket to this venue. No. So what they're charging you for is to use for you their our platform. electronic I think service. It's unreasonable. It's for you to use their platform. I think they've cornered it. To take this money out your electronic bank yeah. and put it into our electronic wallet. There is a process. Somebody yeah. had to write a Not process. Not anymore. It's, Back it's in the day. It's a white man that wrote this shit. On, every time somebody make a transaction on the internet, it's like he a get broker. paid off this shit. Yeah, he, yeah you, no, it's I know a it's a real thing. I'm saying it's a fake thing. It's real in the fact that it's happening. It's fake that it that it shouldn't be happening. But, Loon, we can't do nothing about it. Is it? Not, no, yeah, but, but it's just anyway. identifying it. It's just us saying, damn, that's a weird thing. Like, mm -hmm. And it's, it's becoming, I, I guess I'll say this. 
it's becoming a problem for for some of the bigger acts. They're starting to draw to like uh, who is it? Miley Cyrus, I think it is. Taylor Swift. I'm sorry, Taylor Swift. Uh, just you know, she sells out crazy. So she did like 1.5 million sales first week. She had an issue with this. She would put tickets out, and the servicing fee was so crazy that she was she took the tickets off like Good. i think you she know shut what? the whole thing down Good. that's what i'm saying because it's extra money that she's not seeing you, and when you, you are earning this business you start to comb through shit like that and say yo that's an extra 18 but, million that they touching for but that's what taylor, taylor, taylor swift is only getting 30 percent of whatever the um the uh, uh 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 the gross of a concert so if it's two million dollars to put on the concert and whatnot. You know, she's Taylor only Swift getting 30. concert costs two million dollars. Right. You tell no, she do a million dollars for the stage, and then the promoters you do. Think she only making that? Yeah, that nah, hey, that's, that's what they said. She had ten thousand dollars oh, tickets Chill out. for one show. See, that's what I'm saying. Just relax. A little she bit. had the kind of tickets that was embarrassing. The numbers like you, thirteen thousand for this ticket right here. That's why she was upset. Understand the service and processing fee on thirteen thousand dollars. Well, Hold good. on, tell me, you don't think Taylor Swift getting um, two million dollars a show? She way more, way than, more that. than that. Taylor Swift not coming out the house for no fucking two million dollars. It's Taylor Swift. No, you said two million. Let's be clear. You said two million, including budget for the show and the stage and all that. Her yeah. production is more than two a two million dollar. She got, It's way more than that. It's Taylor Swift. This is one of the biggest artists in the world. She guaranteed sell out whatever the whatever the motherfuckers cost. Ten thousand dollar tickets. She getting ten thousand dollar tickets. That was easy. easy. It was embarrassing. That ain't she even did a million. That ain't with even internet, the with bootlegging, with which you have she did one point five million with with thirteen hundred plays being one stream. She did one point five million first week. And a lot of that was uh she did some kind of hard copy of vinyl or some kind of thing they're getting crafty with the audience that's why i'm trying to tell you this is deeper than just this is how things are this is like hold on they're profiting on the backs of creators and creators are starting to be like hold on now we ain't going we starting to let us get a little bit of that or cut that down some you know or nah that ain't cool get that right oh uh, now nah, you got an eight, 18 million dollar ad and 80 percent of those ads ran on my show Split that up a little better. And so those conversations are getting louder. Yep. That's the game, though. But all that shit is... It's different. Like, it had to be Taylor Swift. She, like I said, she's one of the biggest artists in the world. Yeah. And now that that did happen with them jacking the prices of her tickets up and shit, they done, they gonna have to investigate the whole shit now. Yeah. They could have just kept going on until somebody like big as her. as big as her come through. So it's actually better for the game that this shit happened. That's what I was leading to right. before we went off. And not even the processing fee, just that. I'm glad you said that. Deeper than that, they said these services, and this is allegedly, of course, but these services like Ticketmaster and stuff had a system where as soon as tickets go on sale, they go out of sale. So they would buy every ticket themselves, boom, and then shoot them to the reseller market. So now, if I'm a, just a regular fan that like you, I can't even get a ticket because they did some kind of weird workaround to shoot the ticket over to the, the reseller market and make money as well as the processing fee. Okay, check this that out. Shit, that shit is like a... Alright, so you know it's a whole bunch of ticket scams that they can run, right? I think that whole shit is a is a whole racket because they ain't never gave out too many tickets. They always gave. They know exactly how many in that motherfucker. But if they running a scam like they say they are, why it ain't never no overabundance? You get what I'm saying? The like, scam is in the process. That's what I'm. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. just like you said, they trying to make it seem like, oh, it's a it's a. You know, scalpers yeah. or whatever, or bots and whatever. Nah, it's them. Nah, bro, that shit is already sectioned off. You yeah. get this section and then. Now, they say those. sometimes they will let a few go out, but for the most part, some of them real valuable little right there by the state, right? They instantly, as soon as it gone, them gone. Yeah, them gone. You're already. like, hold on, what was that? 
Next thing you know, they for sale over here on this little third party site. And it's like, damn, that's a- They gonna find out that all them little third party sites is really just back door to the main site. That's that's what that, that's basically, yeah, to sum it up. And so it's bigger, it's like, if you if you a ticket seller, y'all dudes gotta know how valuable that is. As comedians, even if it's 200, 300, 500, that's a valuable thing. Like he said, to get somebody to come out, get a hack, like, that's a valuable thing in this market. That conversion, very little people can convert people these days. Mm -hmm. We just see that Sweetie, shout out to Sweetie, is under fire for having 12 million followers and then selling, I think they said like 2,000. Because the conversion of the people she that follow you. She must have posted the link. She posted the link, but it's a, conver <laughs> it's a conversion, you know? Ain't no way. You don't believe so? She ain't tag herself. Oh, what is that, though? Like, to have 12 million followers and they say that, you know, try to get two million. And I don't want to attack her because a lot of the weirdo dudes are You, you know what? You know what it women. is? You, yeah. It's so many different ways to, because it's subscriber based anyway these days. So she probably, people are just listening to her on Spotify and mm. the Pandora's and. You know what I'm saying? They're pretty, pretty much not really downloading like they used to, right? Ain't no download. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing even, but Baby did 215 first week. Drake did 355 first week. This is stream. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. And so what I'm saying is maybe it was a marketing thing. Maybe that was a, right? Maybe they lying. I should have reached out to her. She should have came on my show. She should have maybe came here. Maybe they lying. Maybe they lying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 2,000 sales, right? 12 million followers. But what I'm more so speaking to is the What conversion. if she did more than somebody favorite artist and they had to make it look like she ain't sell shit? It could be just a publicity stunt. Now this shit might come out next week. Do 200. <laughs> and everything on Instagram that come on your feed might have her music playing on it. Trending on TikTok. They have made six million videos. How? The game dirty. Have you have you figured out what makes you go viral? Mm -mm. I think that's something that companies want to know from creators. You can't call it these days. Yeah, it changes. Mm -mm. It changes. Sweetie fine as hell though. Sidebar. See, that be the type of shit make you, you go like viral. Sweetie. Can you afford to pay her bills? No, I wouldn't even try. Well, she ain't finding no nigga who can't pay her bills. No, nah, she fine. I just know, I know, I know what uh, She gonna say I'm not pretty to no nigga that can't pay my bills. I, that ain't my, that ain't my, I'm not fine to him. I don't really want Fuck him. it. Let me see him. I'm like, look here, you girl, you go ahead. Let me see him. For what? I want to know about how much it costs to talk shit like that. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I ain't buying no Lambo truck. I know that much.
She but you will stretch far as you can for sweetie, though. Keep she it ain't real. <laughs> right, right. You will stretch far as you can for sweetie. Keep it what? real. What? No, no. It's some. No, you know how many. She can get eighty percent of your monthly budget. No, she can't. Let me tell you something. It's some sweeties out here that ain't sweetie. It's a gang of sweetie lookalikes. Boy, you bold as hell. You bold. You bold. Hey, hey, I'm wrong? You bold. Am I wrong? Mm -mm. Am I wrong, said the Would cat. you pay for them, though? Would I pay for them? If that's all it took to have them. Hey, man, if it was, if, if, if most 150 What's your limit? A $150? Month. A month. What? I do $150 a month. That's Come cool. Come on, Jack. Let's be realistic here. That, that's yeah, what my booty. That's you my talk bo about liking girls. I'm dead. Like, I'm dead ass serious. I don't, talk, that's my booty you don't budget. You like girls like Sweetie, then. I mean, I'm, you I'm, ain't having sex with girls like Sweetie if that's your budget. One fifty. Yes, I am. One hundred and fifty dollars a month. I just had a sex with a girl look like Sweetie yesterday. <laughs> don't. And she let me call her Sweetie. Damn. One fifty. I, I disagree with that, Jack. Come on, man. Cameras is on. Okay. Time to be honest. Eighty percent of your budget can go to the Sweetie. No. What percentage of your monthly budget can go to Sweetie? A hundred and fifty dollars. I'm telling you, and I'm sitting on her face. You see how? Uh, you man, see what how, that nigga talking about? See how the crazy this nigga is, bro. What I, that nigga talking about? I'm talking on somebody. I'm about talking it. about real shit. Just, real, man, stop, bro. Just stop. This is my life. Stop. Bro. What you doing when you get up there? I'm riding her face. Jack, man, stop. Bro. You don't went left. I that told you, man, we don't like the same thing. Face. I ain't know I you told knew you. how to ride a face. Yeah, I know how to ride a face, man, yeah. Nigga up there with, a, um, with one eye, riding a face. Yeah, the whole day in That's the hallway. That's a bad man now. Uh, with, with the rope, with my lasso. All right. Damn. And a cowboy hat on. dangerous, boy. Jack, what the hell wrong with you, man? Mm, and some tube socks. Mm. But anyway, you know, I don't know, bro, like. That ain't gonna cut it, Jack. You'll never have a woman like that on the $150. Child, dollars. please. Okay. You, you single? Yeah, I, I identify. What type of quality women? Let's not talk about the quantity, yeah. because sometimes we get stuck on the quantity. Now yeah. I got them, I got them gal. Yeah. Let's deal with the quality of women. Now, when you say quality, right? Oh hell. Now put put me on. What what does quality mean? I want to ask you clarify Look, quality to you. Okay, if you you say qu quality to me is that she she got a bed available. Mm -hmm. <laughs> quality to you is available. Quality to me is she got a job. Mm. She she can she can take care of herself. You brought your status down low on a motherfucker. Right. Man, what man, who who is these hoes y'all talking about? That's why I'm trying that to figure out where you what's going on. Like who who who, who y'all talking about some old goddamn oh uh, um damn who is the new model chicks? Jack, but but let's keep clarifying like quality. Bro. You ain't got them Go like ahead. that, Jack. She got it, huh? Jack, you ain't got them like that. I mean, shit. I mean, it, it depends on. You said she got a bed. She got a bed. That's big. You got a bed. You got a place to stay. You got food inside your refrigerator. You know, basic necessities. You telling me before you have sex with a girl, you go make sure she got food in the refrigerator. You want I me don't to, make sure. You want me to believe that? I, I don't make sure. Shit. Yeah, no. I'm trying. You know, you're talking to me, bro. No, I, no, I understand what yeah, you're saying. I'm one of them. Like, yeah, I'm it, listening and shit. I, 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 I'm, I'm dead ass serious. I, I'm not like saying, hey, do you need grocery money or some shit like that? So again, so let's, what is quality? What is quality? Because you said you got food in a refrigerator. Yeah, a quality is women that don't charge you for pussy. See, that's available. That's, that's low standards. That's low, some bullshit. Low hanging fruit. Yeah, that's too. bullshit. There. No, this is high hanging fruit. That no. don't, that, this right. is at the top of the tree. I ain't necessarily saying that don't charge, but that feels nasty. <laughs> that feels that. <laughs> you know, you see what I'm saying? Hey, bro, y'all seem getting, like you're ignoring the standards. Y'all like. are getting fool's gold right now. Mm. What are you getting? I'm, I'm getting just normal, everyday women. That ain't got no necessities, no needs at all. They that they taking care of all that shit they sell. Yeah, for one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Right. That's if I had to do that. Jack, stop playing, bro. What about you? And and, and we talking about Uber Eats too. And we talking about door dashing. Yeah, go ahead, Carlos. What? Oh, that's what, what, what my. What do you think? My uh, booty budget. But what the budget would be? Right. For old girl. Yeah. 
Mm. No, this, no, this is oh, what yeah. you're willing to pay. Not pay, it sound nasty. See, <laughs> Just, I, we can't, you know, we can't call a spade a spade. Contribute. You know, this we ain't talking he tricking. We talking about if this was his woman. You talking prostitution right nah, now. Nah, nah, that ain't what I'm talking. You don't think I'm talking that, do you? Mm -mm. Nah, I'm talking this your woman. Like this my Oh, this is my woman. Oh, you what see you? how you fake change. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Boy, now you're trying to clear it up for the wood no, beans out there. No, I'm talking about I, I identify as single and I'm dating. Mm. So when we talk about my what's my booty budget, bro. Well, stop saying shit like that. Yeah, we ain't talking about that. That's fucking weird. Man. No, let me pass the ball. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. What's the budget, brother? Um, that I that would it would cost me. Right. Oh, uh, <laughs> shit, I don't know. Cause I'm looking, I already had the number in my head oh, of yeah. what I think the monthly, her monthly yeah, bills are yeah, around. Yeah. Well, you think that number is? She is, she seems to be excessive as hell. And yeah. Extra, I would say somewhere between a rough nine and 12,000 a month. And just then, bills. bills and shit. Yeah, and I was right there with you. Hold on, that's what y'all willing to do. No, no we said see, we you... identifying the numbers here, sir. Okay, got it. All right. Can you handle something like that? Nine no, I can't, that? and I'm not going to try. Yourself. <laughs> can you yourself without beloved? You yourself. Can I do that for Are myself? Are you living yeah. that way? See, if you live in that way, it don't seem so uncomfortable so, to, uh, to talk about. Yeah, it's, I get if it's reaching up. Well, whoa, whoa, now. Uh, see, the baby, I'm going up to nine. You, no, you ain't finna trick me into this bullshit. I'm asking. I see what you're doing. Nah, I'm asking. I see what you're nah, doing. I ain't doing I, oh, I definitely, I definitely spend it on me. How much you think a bad bitch costs a month? Yeah, good question. Okay, you talking about you talking yeah, about one of them girls number. getting her, her they ties rotated on them and getting their radiator flushed and all that other stuff. We ain't stuff talking and, about the, and the BBLs and shit. Yeah, okay. I'm talking about just bills. bills, the car she drive, the kind of house, the condo, oh, okay. the, the shopping, right. the hair, the whatever you helping. This your woman. Okay. Nah, her this maintenance. Your, yeah, her, her maintenance. All right, so. I took this girl out the other night. Oh, here you go. Yeah. No, dead ass serious. Dead yeah, the ass number, serious. Jack. The number. Yeah. Okay. It's a number. Well, she ain't try me like that though. But if I was just why guess, is it getting tried? It's financially. Let's have a conversation. Yeah. Man. What's going on financially? Where every time you're spending money, you feel tried. Yeah, you got a financial demon or something. Yeah, what's something. going on about feeling tried about somebody you love? Or, we talking your woman. I keep clarifying right. this, hoping this. Okay. I'm hoping yeah. that this registers somewhere that we talking about I, your okay. woman and you keep tapping out. I, you I, keep, I apologize. Okay. Can, can we start yeah, over? Yeah, please. Hi, my name is Jack. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, for my woman, I, I, I guess what what reason why I'm doing that is because I never. I never spent that on a woman before 12, 12.5. 12. That's that hasn't happened, or even a five thousand a month. Or, but if you spend it on yourself and it's your love when she's coming into your area. Well, yeah, I'm kind of on some Br Bruno Mars type shit. You Lucky for you, that's it. what I like. That's what I like. Lucky so for whatever you I'm know. doing, that you know, what I'm saying if it, you, you just happen to be there, this is what is. This is. Can what I'm you doing. handle somebody that's used to twelve thousand no, dollars lifestyle a no, month? No, I can't. I can't even. Even if it. they share your lifestyle, not you funding it, because I'm trying to identify why it feels so nasty to you. Um, it's, it's just uh, if your lifestyle is twelve thousand dollars a month or nine, let's go that, with the low numbers. It's just unnecessary, bro. It's just in my mind right now. Your house it, might be forty five hundred a month. That knock off, that leave you with five thousand. Then you ain't got but five thousand. What kind of car you drive? I got dropped off. What kind of car your woman you love that's giving you that you ride in her face? You talking about riding her face? What kind of car you got her driving? Oh, I always bust you her a in. nigga. Look how big you you one of them kind of nigga riding her face. That's right. What you got her driving? Oh, she had already had a car for us. She came in for me to ride her face. You don't think if... Boy, when she got out of her ride, she came to get on this ride. That boy hard cold, man. That nigga full of shit is what he is. Okay. All right. That's, that's what my life is. I'm realistic with myself. Y'all the ones over here talking that shit. Termite.
Let's go back to bro. Termite, bro. Let's go back to bro. See how y'all, y'all, y'all the ones that's Cap, uh, calling Kaepernick over here. What's Kaepernick about that? Y'all d- d- talking about some spending twelve five on a motherfucker Nobody and all this other. We saying See, that we're that identifying that, the that number, number scared him so yeah, bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some financial is happening. Ain't nobody gonna ask you for shit. Yeah, man. Some somebody got over on you. Done made some bad he investments or something. He never gave nobody shit. What's <laughs> that nigga? That harmed, man. <laughs> We all over here super camp down. Yeah, yeah. Captain Crunch. 12 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And we, but I thought that we were talking about what we was doing. Is that, that was more my understanding was. Did I, did I misunderstand them or did they misunderstand me? Or, or am, am, I, talk, am I tripping y'all? We're identifying numbers. Every time we say a number, yeah. you, you run and get in a hole. Attack. Yeah, you. Hey, listen. I, I'm pretty sure that Cy Wheeling, she is worth, she is worth every bit Sweet. of the 12 five. I'm pretty sure she All right, is. Let's keep I'm identifying numbers. We, we, you identifying worth. We trying to deal with numbers right yeah. now. So we believe it's nine to twelve thousand. Uh, is that is that acceptable for that for 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 a quality of woman like that? It really just depends on the situation, right? What did you come in here with? Like I'm saying, as what far if that's as her status? Like, not, that's what we that's can remove she, her. Yeah, she probably used to weigh more than that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm saying this ain't with no help or no niggas or nothing. Right. I'm still thinking that just the bills. That's at the what house I'm telling is him. about. Yeah, a, a I, I good heard. twelve. They might. I would say anywhere from nine to fifteen. Yeah, because it like, might get might, up. It might get up there for real, especially if somebody my, she got a little condo here and a big crib out here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Then them Bentleys and shit ain't that shit is like you, you know? got it, so that means you can afford it. The, the fuck you need to send them my money for? No, I'm no. sorry, I interrupted. Go, go ahead. I'm just shit. What, 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 what would I be able to stand? I don't know. That you come. Just think about it. Even if you you pay a third <laughs> of that every month. <laughs> shit, no. It's busting you up, but that niggas doing that shit with ease. Easy. She nigga busted that shit straight down. <laughs> nigga, she don't even talk to. Herself. That's why I can't believe That's you having that sex with them kind of women. Like, if you're not ready to be that nigga, you don't need to fucking. Don't compete kind of with women. them people. She got niggas that she ain't never met in real life sending her three. Man, four thousand don't compete. Months. That's why I know and you ain't hitting them kind of women. Seven or eight of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I ain't saying this. That. How I know you ain't having sex with them kind of women because the volume is high over there. And niggas, the, the shit the that you say I wouldn't do. Niggas that ain't never touched their body gonna do that monthly. Hey, I, I ain't fucking the type of women that ask for shit like that. Oh, they all that ask require for shit like, shit. That. like you keep that saying. Require, I'm sorry, that require yeah. or, or that. I'm, they I'm not, all do. They just ain't asking you for it because they know you don't have it. Okay. And you come off I'll as financially it. had 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 a heart attack or something. I, I'll take it. Right. They only gonna ask for what they think they can get. I, I'll take it. I, I'll be not, there. I'm not saying like you look. No like, disrespect. Yeah. Now, now, do I don't you feel like? Disrespect. Yeah, I hope you don't, because you might. They just know. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now the motherfuckers who was gonna try to get anything off, you gonna be like, can't ask that nigga for no more than six, seven hundred. Praise God. But I'm Pray, saying, don't you ever ask your me for woman, shit. Your woman can't ask you for nothing. Your woman. She can't afford to live a decent lifestyle. You want to ride her face. She can't right. afford to live a you decent it, lifestyle. Yeah. He you is riding faces. She can't afford to live a decent Them kids life. mama. Man, that lady can't get a good car. You riding her face. No. <laughs> them kids mama. Man, bro. that kid, kid's mama, man. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> See? Them kids mama. Oh, you, oh, you got them, to be lying. Them man. kids mama. <laughs> them kids mama, man. <laughs> You Damn. getting on that lady's face, that lady ain't got a good cop, man. You wrong in the day. I got, I got. Yeah, he obsessive <laughs> with it too, man. You know you wrong, and yeah. you obsessive. Uh, I gotta think about the kids, man. Man, that kid, that kid is mama, man. Yeah, you're right, Jack. I'm glad somebody else see through your bullshit, okay. man. If they be thinking I be too hard on this no, nigga. No, man. He tripping, man. You, you, be, you be a little rough with me, bro. I know by your requirements what you're willing to do. You can keep lying. <laughs> oh, you oh. jump straight off the bat on camera saying I'm riding faces. And you but, want me but to hold believe. on, but you don't believe that I'm riding faces? I believe you paying, Hell too. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I ain't saying you ain't riding faces. Yo, 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 I, I believe, believe you will pick a bill yo. up. Any nigga ride, any I'm, nigga, listen, I'm bro. paying Hulu bills all day. You bro, can't convince me of that. 
that when you jump off the roof with oh, the I'm shit, riding bro. faces, man. Yeah, that's you ain't saying I'm getting a conventional interaction. You jump off the roof. Jack. I'm riding faces. That let me know. Oh, he paying. Jack. He got a little something going on. He'll pick a bill up. Come on, man. I told yeah. you. I'm definitely going to do that Hulu. So women out here just fucking you for free just because they like you. Yeah, just as simple as that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm a very likable guy. I believe that. You believe that? You 100%. Yeah. Yes. Jack. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm super like Hey man, nigga, you ain't, I feel like you judging me right no, now. Fuck you, I'm just what saying, you mean I ain't like him? Because it's what you're doing right now. You saying <laughs> if I was a girl, I wouldn't go with you. I wouldn't let you ride my face. No, That's fuck, what you're saying I'm right now. I'm listening to what the That's what you said. said. <laughs> you think women out here fucking you because they like you. Why is women out here fucking me right now? <laughs> <laughs> you want us to believe that too. Not only do you believe that, or you saying oh, that, you shit. want us to really believe. But y'all made me choke. Hey, listen, no, I don't. And the sexual experience is explicit, and you ain't paying for it. That's what you want me to believe. <laughs> Man, listen, I can. Uh, listen, I, I'm told you I'm doing Uber Eats and shit, and I'm providing the experience. I bet it's a woman watching this right now, saying he a lying, dirty motherfucker. Yes, okay. No, no, it's yes, a woman watching this right now, saying, "Yep, he closed his ass up on my face." <laughs> ain't this? A, <laughs> ain't this? A, he going. Oh. He don't yeah. went there, ladies. It's, oh. a, it's, 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 it's a couple other bitches he saying, went yeah, there, ladies. I ate that moon pie, too. <laughs> he don't went there, ladies and gentlemen. He Jack, has a ride. Dick, you done got way too comfortable. You tripping. He oh, funny. shit. Oh, Jack, it this happens, nigga man. got me crying, bro. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get eight out. All right, let's ask a different question. Yeah. Boy, that nigga dangerous with that. You day, you very comfortable with that, boy. I'm super comfortable. Yeah. And that ain't a paid vacation. Oh, no, it's not. You want me to believe that's company time. This is company time. <laughs> that nigga want me to believe that comp that ain't a paid vacation. That got to be a paid. Oh, no. Let me ask you this. I asked a different uh, question. I see you shit. comfortable. You what you doing right here is you putting some bait out there. Uh, you want the you want a woman to know when you see me coming your way. Uh, I'm interested shit. in this here. I understand what you're doing. Okay. Let me ask you this. Come on now. Put yeah. it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Put see it right there. I see yeah, man. But you got to pay. I want to be clear. No, I'm fighting for him. You, you know, you, nigga you riding are, faces in your car bag. Hey, d d have you ever thought for your, to yourself just for one minute that there's women out there that love getting their face rolled? Yeah. But they, love, they, they need a good car. And you a nigga on wildin' out. Dick. Shit. You a big nigga on wildin' out with one eye. And oh. you riding my face and I ain't got a good car. <laughs> That ain't happening in 2022, bro. But you, let's move forward. You be surprised, bro. I will. For I'm free. surprised. Oh, because they like you. Yeah, just because they like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. What's a comfortable number for you to spend on yourself a month? Let's see if your financial trauma lives even within. Okay, you talking about my fun budget, Yo, right? No, no, no. Your comfortable you living. That's oh, house, with, with that's all car, my, my, that's... Whatever With all my doing. bills and Everything. my Uber rides What's and all that. comfortable for you? Probably like about low end. Then yeah, let's go with a low number. 2100, high end. 2100, renting all? Yeah, renting all. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're doing good. Yeah, yeah. I, I live below my means, way yeah, below. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, that means you I, got I it to spend. Yeah, I don't, need, I, don't, I don't need a lot of shit. That's a signal to the women. You yeah. got it to spend, y'all. <clears throat> Twenty one hundred. But I ain't gonna spend it. You should have whatever you should want, but not from me. Twenty one hundred. That's a low number. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't need a lot of shit. That's dope, though. I respect the fuck out of that. Yes, I got. Yeah, I got my. I'm Tell me the secret. How do you do that? Well, it's just me. I don't have kids. That's one. That makes sense. Um. Uh. uh like I said, most of most of my uh, uh, outings or experiences with women is like private chef type shit or uber eats and shit something just real modest it's not crazy it's not. and i don't want to sound crazy and but i want to sound a certain quality in 2022 is attached to a little bit of crazy to a man that's spending 2100 a month yeah correct. right it may be may feel crazy for her to say let's go to this spot and the meal 1100 
That ain't never happened. That's what I'm saying. So that ain't never happened. Now, okay. Okay. That ain't never had. If she needs what that type quality of, shit? of women are you dealing with in regards to someone like Sweetie? How many notches up or down would you say someone can fit into a, that twenty one hundred dollar? Well, no, no. Once again, you man, you can have sex with Sweeties, women that look like Sweetie. So you, that's, not that's sweetie. what I'm asking. You yes. believe you saying that you you do run into Sweetie yeah, type every, characters every now and then, and they they are out there. I want every them. now and they then, they are out there. I'm they hurting for them. certain though. They hurting for certain though. Yeah, and, and they got and a you little, got a little the, fame. It's just hard for me to believe somebody. But did. that's what make it easier. Mm. That's what makes it easier. What about that, Lo? What? He said the fame make it easy. That's why he do it for free. Cause the fame. I don't know. I don't know. He he got a different kind of fame. He out here. He famous, bro. And, and, and once again, I say what's on my mind. And you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it just it just be what it is. And if you don't fuck with it, I'm cool with it. I play the numbers game with it. What's the number? We've been asking you. And you didn't no, the numbers game is, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? So you, you fade in, Hey, right? how you doing? You want to fuck me? Hey, how you doing? You want to fuck me? Hey, how you doing? You, you don't oh, think yes? it come okay, off as thirsty. You don't think it, you don't think you, hey, hey, Sprite, all right? Do you look like, obey your thirst. What about, you don't think you look like you panhandling pussy? I'm, I, I'm cool with that. If that's what <laughs> you want to call it, if that's what it look like to you. you so cool. you would just pretty much lock in with whoever say yeah. Nah, that's not true. Okay. Well, that's well, what I'm saying. Like no, 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 I, I like what you it. Said. No, no, you're saying availability is your only requirement. You want to fuck me? You want to fuck me? Hey, hey listen. That's listen, a, listen. availability no, no, play. No, no, listen, listen. The, the shit, the w women that I'm attracted to. I'm hearing low self esteem. Mm, let's identify what we hear. Low self esteem. Hell, fuck with anybody that ever <laughs> say yes to What him. you hearing out yourself? You I'm, hear high value, I'm, man. What you think Kevin Samuel's saying? Man, <laughs> Don't you say it. Don't you what say do you it? hear when you say this these days? <coughs> I'm hearing. I don't believe in myself. Oh yeah, that's what you believe. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm down to earth. What does that mean? Down to earth. See, that's it, broad. See, I, yeah, yeah, hey, motherfucker, just I be like, saying. I don't like it. I'm good. information based. I like, I like who I'm like. I'm down to earth. We I, all down. To, what does that mean? I like who like me. I like what I like. That's availability play. I don't yeah, like that. Don't sound good. Yes, I'll take availability. I'm yes. If they, you, so pretty it, much all it takes for, you, for a woman to fuck with you, Jack, is for her to agree to fuck with you and you like her. That ain't cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell him, man. I'm trying hey, to, hey, listen, especially I, with fame. I, I know Nigga, what you, you looking I know to what, get you. I know what you're doing. Yeah, I, I, I know doing. what you guys are doing. I'm trying to and show you a better way. Okay. Okay, let me ask you this. What am I doing wrong, and how should I be going about it? You're you settling should for anything. You think that you're going to get something for nothing, and you're trying to get over. What else in your maybe, life do maybe you... Maybe I like ho. It makes me quit. Uh oh Maybe you'll settle for one because you are, you too scared to know... Mm. You're too scared to put in effort to have what you really want. Hey, and um, you know that there's always going to be an abundance of hoes who don't require nothing but a little hundred fifty dollar little group Chris or some shit. That's all you got to do. You said all you do is fucking. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Take I, my I, day I, eat and get hey, him a hey, burger or something. I, I love everything you just said right there. But that ain't no. uncomfortable for you. How no, that's old cool. are you? I'm forty. That ain't uncomfortable at forty. No, I'm not uncomfortable at all. Uncomfortable with that being the requirements. No, I'm not. Of a forty-year-old man on television with the fame, making the money you still making, ain't got no involved hoes. in everything you involved with. You don't believe that at forty Nigga, years. How many hoes you didn't see me bring through here? What? Now nah, being with hoes and only requiring hoes is a difference, right? Some people indulge. But you see, saying, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. You talking about you? You talking about hoes, right? She was gonna do that because she a hoe. She needed something to do. What I'm saying is, you could have had <laughs> something of higher quality that you actually right. would have really wanted. I know that's right. Yeah. But no, nah, you don't want that. Uh, yeah, that's, pro that's probably. You, you no, I don't. No play. Listen, that's why he wins at life, because he has no problem being that. He don't yeah, give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, that's, that's a that's the thing. I wonder how you landed there. Like, I'm just saying mentally where you can land right there and just be like, 
Well, I'm there too. It's like, yo, whatever decision See, I'm making you is. You know, you know what the difference is between you guys and I in yeah. this particular subject right here. Right. I'm is that y'all y'all over here? You <laughs> y'all over here playing towards the camera. I got people I'm depending being on me. Listen, I got people right now depending on da, me. Y'all feel exactly the way I do. That's You're not just true. not honest with them. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. You're going to just make You selfish. That's why you always going to have yourself. I know that's right. I hear you you plan on having children at some point? Or? Hell no. Nah. nah, I'm cool on that. I feel Who going to watch them? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still tripping off them kids mama, man. <laughs> them kids mama too, bro. <laughs> His ass off, man. That that nigga, that nigga now, she the sick, man. nasty motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you, that's who might need to be somewhere talking to some damn buddy. That's fucked up, brother. She out here letting Jack goddamn ass wrestle with her. <laughs> Hey, Her man. car can't start. <laughs> hey, said, just, just just because y'all are not into that, you know, doesn't mean there's something wrong with me. Damn, Jack. Yeah. You got to do better. I know that's right. Y'all just got to start being real with these folk, man. Y'all better stop lying to these people, man. You stop lying to Why do to you yourself? identify that as a lie? Help me understand that. Um... I just don't feel like you guys are being genuine right Help now. Help me understand why. With the way you're dead. You don't think that we have people that's looking? That's oh, yeah, that's say, that 100%. That, that's yeah. going to say he lying. You don't think I got people right now looking that thousands of dollars depend on me every month? Mm -hmm. That looking in that camera, oh, bruh, you don't think nobody M depending on Maybe Maybe this is not your image. Just lying, bro. You bro, guys, bro, maybe bro, this bro, is not your most image. Of his money. It's a girl somewhere, probably in New Jersey, somewhere to my. Well, he on that line, Captain, because yeah. that nigga sent me sixty some thousand dollars that one year. Ooh, I got it right here. Yeah, Jack, you just talking loud because the receipt say came out here. You probably the biggest trick in South Georgia. <laughs> 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 nigga be buying bridges, all type of shit. Because anybody with that kind of value, yeah, you see, right? Yeah. Don't nobody eat that motherfucking much. You don't keep. Give me a burger. Give me a burger. Get you fading everybody. You keep. You no, just we told getting, me we go. We get Magianos and you know oh, my favorite spun divots. All kind of shit. Is your home something where they say wow? Do they feel like they with somebody? I got a basic condo. I got. I got, I got uh, condos. I, is condos is a vibe? You yeah, know, yeah, it's a, it's a vibe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. I like my place. You yeah. said basic. Yeah, I got a basic. It got a basic condo and it's cool for me. Okay. I'm I'm not I'm not the guy that that, that, that means flexes some bullshit. And, I'm it's not the cool guy that me. that needs to flex and show you everything I got and all that other stuff. You ain't gonna walk in the house and see stacks of money just everywhere stacks and all of money. that. You know what I'm saying? People do that. Mm -hmm. Niggas be flexing now. Nah, that's true. You niggas be flexing. You walk inside the door, it be a shoebox and a couple of dollars hanging out and a gun sitting on the goddamn. Uh, counter and all kind of Who stupid shit. Who the fuck made that gun on the counter? So, all right. <laughs> yo, you be surprised. That that that, that that's a, that's kind of like one of their little aphrodisiac plans and shit. Oh, he dangerous. Oh, Got a gun man. on the counter. I feel. You spend a lot of time thinking about these things. I can feel it. Let me ask you this. No, I got you. You have partners and stuff. You go over their house sometimes. Like Ugh, this nigga here. He doing that for you or the woman? Doing that for the women. He's not doing that for me. So the woman's coming over while you're there. No, I just came by, you know what I'm saying, for some stovetop stuffing and I'm leaving. I don't identify what we're saying. <laughs> right? You say he do that for the woman. He's flexing for the woman. Yeah, he flexing But you for the see woman. it. <clears throat> yeah, but but I saw it. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't see the woman. She wasn't there when you seen the setup that was for the woman. Well, I'm not I'm not I'm not looking for her either. Right. So, you know, I'm not saying, hey, is there a woman inside of your house while oh, I'm here okay. right you now visiting? She might been there when you was there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I understand that. And I'm not going let, to. Let me ask you this. Kanye yeah. West got his design stolen from him. Yeah. From Adidas. Mm -hmm. How you feel about that? Uh, I, I, I just also, I also read that he's still getting paid off of the shit. That's what I was going to say. It ain't stealing if you know they took it. Yeah. I don't even think they took it. I don't think they took it either. I think he signed some shit, and it is what it is. Yeah, I think he knows man, exactly man, what he's doing. Feel sorry for he that, that that nigga good, and he gonna be all right. Right. He good. I think they've identified something in the contract where he signed it over to. Do you think he can build another billion dollar? 
One hundred percent. One hundred percent. He know he can. That's why he don't give a fuck about getting out of this this contract. Yeah, yeah. He definitely. That's can. actually gonna be the least of his worries. All he got to do is find out a way to get out of this shit. I think he done sparked a war though. I think that he thinks that he just gonna spark up some social media stuff. But I think that they gonna take this and twenty years down the road still be pulling and tugging at him about that. You you know what? That's a multi billion dollar deal. Mm -hmm. You gotta understand the gravity of that. That's not like a he just wrecked a multi billion dollar to get out the whip with them folks. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they I don't think they play it for like you keep seeing stuff coming out. Oh man, it, it, that's that's not it. Yeah, the, uh, the, the thing that I thought he was it. fixing to do, I thought he was fixing to, you know, team up with Trump and run as his uh, vice president and whatnot, and you know they Trump disassociating from everybody. Yeah, Elon Musk. Oh yeah, he just. Oh uh, well, then again, with the, he from Elon too. Yeah, he said, "Call me dad, or I ain't coming over on Twitter." Right. He, so he's playing a public like he understands public. He's trying to separate. He look at everybody as, I don't, you ain't clear about being with me until you make it 100% clear you with me. Like, Kanye, you might run. I got to, I got to box you out. Elon, I don't know where you stand. You on Twitter now. I just bought this other true social thing. Box you out. Mm. Stand on my own over here until I figure out exactly what I'm doing. That's what I think. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit just got interesting. I mean, the, the things that I thought that was going to be uh, predictable is nowhere near it right now. No. Uh, and I don't know what the fuck's going to happen now. Hell no. Nah. Uh, but I, I am I'm interested. I'm entertained. By who? Uh, Trump? Just, uh, by Trump, Kanye, Kyrie, LeBron. I knew he was a Trump supporter. Say it again? That support, that's, that, that right there. Say it again? That let me know everything right this, there. This, this, dude, this is what we're that explains it all. <laughs> fucking Trump supporter. No, that's not true at all. That's not true. You don't want to spend money on black women because you don't want black women mm. to have fucking... You don't want to bridge the pay gap. Man. You don't think black women deserve to get paid the same amount of work. Uh, the, 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 100%, I think black women deserve the world. But you don't want to give it to them. And you want to ride their face and right. not provide them. I'm like, disappointed. I ride white women's women. face, I'm disappointed, too. man. Huh? I ride white women face, Chinese women face. You man, obsessed. Mexican faces. You obsessed. You fucking weirdo, man. Look, we'll be in here talking shit all night, man. We're right. gonna get the fuck out of here. Yes, Lord. Lone Lagoon, man. Drop your shit. Let them know where they can find you at. <laughs> it's up there podcast. Uh, also, The Experience Podcast. I got two different shows. Um, the Experience Podcast. Go check out Lil Baby's interview. Go check out B. Marshall's probably out right now. Fred Taylor. Maul from Joe Budden. Uh, yeah. Just all kind of names. It's up there podcast. I just did Adam 22. Go check all of that out. Yeah, man. Adam 22, man. Yeah, we just argued. No jump. We just argued about the culture. So, you know, go check all that stuff out. Hey, and if there's any ladies that want me to ride their face and whatnot, nah, please man, DM you. these niggas and show yourself so they need to see that this shit is real. Wow. Well, there you have it, folks. Hey, this your first time through the trap. Yes, Don't Lord. let it be the last, man. No, you know where we at. 80 man, Minutes man, South Show, Loom Lagoon. Man. We yes, out this man. bitch. Man, I appreciate it. Get a photo you, very quick. Okay.